What's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Hey, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. When you do, hit that notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. Hey, I want to bring up a story, and it's not dealing with uh, black people, but it's something that we do, that we, that we are guilty of doing, and this shows that we're not the only one that... that uh, are guilty of doing stuff like this but it kind of makes me wonder about the psyche of people now this is something that was done by a woman but you remember a while back jim jones i think went to the gucci store and got mad because when nobody serve him you know come and talk to him or nothing like that he said he been sitting there like an hour and a half now why in the heck would you sit in the store an hour and a half wait uh for for more than five ten minutes it's beyond me if you're not getting service i can tell you Story time. I'm going to tell you two different stories. One when I was younger and one being older. Now, when I was younger, I can say ooh, maybe mid, early to mid, early to mid 20s. So I was still young, you know, didn't know no better. Uh, but, you know, when you're desperate, I'm going to say desperate, but not really desperate. But, you know, when you're in desperate times, you know, when you got to get something done, you put up with a lot more bull coin, right? So anyway, when I was younger, it was uh the lady I was with, it was her birthday. Okay, and uh and uh we wanna buy her some jewelry. Went to a jewelry store. Got off work, uh gonna go, was, gonna, was gonna go after work, go get this jewelry, and I knew I wanted to use jewelry credit. I had A1 credit at the time. And my dad told me back then, you know, you wanna build up your credit real fast get you some jewelry credit it's easy to get you get you a little small amount pay it off and you can build it up they say it's the best way one of the, one of the easiest way to build up credit at the time so i'm like okay like i said i already had a one credit credit not not a, a lot of credit but enough you know but it was it was good so a friend of mine a guy i worked with now I, my car was in the shop so a guy i worked with uh he usually i usually pay him to take me up to my latest house to my latest job and I'll wait for her to get off work and then, you know, we go home or whatever. So, uh, he, I asked him, hey, I paid a little more money if you can take me up to this little jewelry store and so I can buy her this, you know, so I can buy her this stuff for her birthday. You know, because it's, it's on, it was all on the way. He said, okay, that's cool, that's fine. I said, all right. So, you know, I said, i get some more gas or, you know, buy some meat, whatever. He said, okay, fine. So, anyway, get in the store. Now, granted, we get, we leaving this warehouse. We're working all day. You know, it was about 12, 1 o'clock. And um, we get there. So, you know, we kind of, you know, working in the warehouse. You know, we're dirty. We're working or whatever. So, go in there. Two young black dudes walking to a jewelry store. And it's only like three, I think it's three workers and a security guard, maybe police. I'm not sure. So, we walk in. You know, we didn't get much. We didn't get a whole. We didn't get that soft greeting, you know, that you, that, that you, should, that you should expect at a place like this uh, we go to the counter we, I'm looking around I'm looking around and I see what I want and it's a mm, few hundred dollars not a whole lot you know and I'm sorry I can try to get the credit for that I got something I knew that I could I, I could afford to buy over time have it paid off in a matter of months so the sales lady come over there and she you know she, you know, like I say, little, I'm going to just say stank attitudes. A black ladies or white, and white lady that was working, as a matter of fact. I think it was two black ladies and white lady, I think. And so, like, one of the ladies come over there with a stank attitude. The other two, they still on the other side of the building, joking and, you know, laughing and joking with the dang on me security slash law enforcement officer. So, lady come over there, like I say, kind of, you know what I'm saying, just kind of, like I say, a little stank. And I see what I want. And like I say, it's like a few hundred dollars. I said, okay, I want this. But I, and I said, I want, I want this, but I want to use your credit. And then like her stank attitude got even stanky. She said, okay. So she come over there, slide the little credit application over there. And, you know, even the dude right next to him was like, even noticed it. You know, it was like, man, they, you know, ain't she tripping. So yeah, whatever. So like I say, young, don't know better. I'm going to go ahead and go through with it. So, you know, found the application, hand it to the lady. Now we looking around, looking around. I saw this necklace. It was like a like a diamond necklace for like three thousand, four thousand, whatever dollars like that. So we still we just looking around, waiting. The credit report comes back. It says that 
I have enough credit for like thousands of dollars, like my limit. When that was written, and the ladies yelled it out across the store. Like I say, it's only us few people in there. She yells it out across the store. And the lady that's next to it, that, that's that's quote unquote helping us. She misheard and said, she said, like, what, like 300? She said, no, like, I don't know. I'm going to say it was, I'm going to say it was way more than that diamond necklace that I saw. I probably could have bought two of them at least that I was looking at. I mean, but when she yelled the amount out, I mean, everybody in that building lit up. Everybody wanted to come over there and help. You know, the lady that's over there, the cashier lady that's working over there. Now she's trying to show me stuff that's worth thousands of dollars. I said, nope, I just want this right here. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? But they, they came over there and wrapped it up in a nice box. They put it up in a nice bag. They put wrapping paper on it. They, they offered all this to me. Just for a few hundred dollars. But they knew what my credit limit was. They figured they give me great service and I'd come back. I wasn't going to go back there. That's all I wanted. That's in the third. But like I said, I was young. They don't know better. If I was older and knew better, just the way they was acting, I would have walked about the store. But like I said, the circumstances were different. I would have walked about the store. Then like I say, fast forward it. Maybe that's a couple years ago. Went to a restaurant. Like went to like a, a, a brunch restaurant, trying to you know get breakfast late one time. Going went, went out of town. Uh, sat out, you know, uh, set the door. They finally came and brought us in. Sat down, and when I sat down, no one offered us water. You know, so as soon as I sat down, and I learned it from my parents. As soon as I sat down, the clock go, the clock starts, the countdown begins. You have at the most five minutes to come on and offer me some water. Well, that's what I want to eat. And and and, that's, and that was being generous that time because it was out of town. But you don't have that long. <clears throat> so it's sat there. I'm sitting there looking around. People walking by, not saying a word to us. I'm sitting there then. Once we get done reading the whole menu, I look up. And she's like, oh, man. I said, where are everybody at? I said, let's go. And just got up and left. Because it's like, I mean, I think I was there too long. Like I said, my thing is you got a couple of minutes to ask me if I want at least want some water and you'll be back. If not, I'm out of there because I don't care how busy you are or not. I mean, that's just let me know. I don't care who you got. And yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk to the manager about this too. But anyway, I said to say this, this lady in the story <clears throat> was placed in the same situation. And yet I feel, and let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I feel she did the wrong thing. <clears throat> and it's people in this story who responded to her <clears throat> feel the same way excuse me and the story says woman sparks it's on, it's on yahoo sports i'll put the link in the description it says woman sparks debate for buying multiple purses at, at dior after employee allegedly disrespects her mother and this came out may 26 which was a couple of days ago it says a woman had sparked the debate after revealing that she returned to a dior store with her mother to buy thousands of dollars worth of purses after a sales associate quote unquote disrespected her mom the day before. Uh, I'm Adia who goes by the username at not your baby. You had you had to you had to see it on TikTok. Recounted the experience in a video shared to the app earlier this month. In the viral clip, she explained that her mother had gone shopping quote unquote alone the day before and returned upset because of how she had been treated by an employee at the Dior store. Quote, she told me that a sales associate Dior was really mean to her. She not only ignored my mom and refused to show her the things that she was asking for, but she left my mom standing there for 10 minutes. See, like I said, a couple of minutes, I'm out of there. We're going to go to the next store. We're going to make that money. Amadea narrated the video. And later on, mom saw her serving a completely different family while she was still waiting there. See, that's where you, you know, you just walk out, man. Like I said, you, you can hire the manager later. But you just walk out and, uh... You know what I'm saying? And go to a different store. Amanda claimed that she was dressed that way. Let me see. According to the TikTok, she reminded her mom that the sales associate worked on commission and likely assumed her mother would, wouldn't be able to afford anything because, as Amadea claimed, she was dressed in a way that made it seem as if she was completely poor. You know what? I learned this from a guy, too. He'll go in the store, and this, and this is after the jury incident. Oh, the guy said, man, look here. I walk in the store, like I said, like an old rich white man. With uh, sweatpants on, an old t-shirt, some flip-flops. But he said, I know I got money to spend. 
I'm walking there and see how they treat me. If I walk in and nobody see me, like, sir, you know what I'm saying, ask me any question within like a minute, I'm gone. It don't matter. She said, because I know I got the money to spend it. But it ain't, it ain't up to you to guess if I got it or not. So you're supposed to treat me, supposed to treat everybody the same, no matter what they look like when they walk into your store. True. Uh, Amadea then revealed that she convinced her mother to return to the deal store in question the following day before admitting that her mom initially didn't want to go back. Her mom was smart. Mom was right. Shouldn't have went back. But she told her that that's not the right way to deal with your life problems. The hell it ain't. It is how you deal with your problems. You just don't go back. You don't patronize people who don't respect you. And that's the problem that we have in our community is that we'll sit here if a black owned business messes up an order or does something wrong one time you'll cuss them out talk bad about them on facebook and everything and make sure they get shut down but you'll go to somebody else's store and they'll screw your orders up all day and you won't say nothing well you got some kid younger now you mess up an order they ain't get no get no uh honey barbecue sauce they'll come in there and, and uh like burn down your dang on witness i mean it happens and then torque at the door i mean psh, these kids these kids now that's something else in the video, we show the pair return to the designer store. Amandia then acknowledges that SA life is a tough life. I guess that meant said associate, I don't know. But that employees could disrespect her, but never disrespect her mom. Once they arrived at the deal, Amandia said they chose to work with another sales associate, who she described as quote unquote really nice. With the video then showing the $3,900 saddle bag that she picked out. Man, I wish I could sell it anyway according to the tiktoker during the shopping outing she and her mother were given basic customer service which included water and coffees which is like remember jim jones said they ain't offering people no bottle water nothing they people off, off him no bottle water nothing he walked in again she had just left then she recalled how the dosa had encouraged them to go to lunch and pick up the bag when they returned uh while showing the lunch that she and her mother enjoyed, Emma did reveal that the essay text her and asked if she wanted another deal back, which she said yes. I said, sure, let's wrap it up as well, she said, adding that she also bought a few other things over text. According to Amandia, the trip to Dior concluded with the employee who had helped her mother the day before coming up to sell to see all the purchases they made before sarcastically congratulating her the new their new sales associate. As I was paying, the other essay came up to my essay and really looked at all the stuff that we bought and told him congratulations in a really sarcastic way. Amadea said, she as she showed all of the Dior boxes that she and her mother had accumulated, which also included a $5,300 Lady Dior bag. At the end of the day, I'll do anything to make my mom happy. Your mom said do not go back to that store. That would have made her happy. I'm sure she wanted that Dior bag well, damn it, you should have went online and bought it. If you needed a DR bag that bad, then you should have went online and bought it. But you, but I wouldn't have even gave Dior a dime if I could afford it. I wouldn't give him a dime because of that sales association. My thing is, look, before I give you money, this heifer got to go because they discriminated against me. So I need them suspended, fired, going to some kind of cloud. You, they, they need something. They need to be called out. Because this is not how you treat anybody that walks in your store. Because you never know who will walk in your store. In the caption, TikTok added, don't let anyone disrespect your mom. It says, go on and say the video been videoed over 7 million times. Prompting a debate. It says, somebody quoted said, you missed a prime quote, big mistake. Huge opportunity. Ha ha. One viewer wrote, referencing it in the line from the 1990 film, was that Pretty Woman? While another said, a very much pretty woman, big mistake, huge moment. We love mama. Whatever. Someone else had a big mistake, huge. Glad you stood up for your mama and y'all got better service. However, other reactions were less positive with many viewers questioning why TikTok and her mother would return to the store where they were treated poor to spend a significant amount of money. That's the way I feel. Why spend money at companies that don't respect you, one person asked. Another viewer questioned why I'm a dear the money will give them your patronage after that. So you reward this store by spending money there. Yeah, that really showed them, someone else wrote. Others claimed that the Dior sales associate was employing a sales tactic by ignoring Amadea's mother and that by going back to the store and spending money that she and her mother fell for it. Quote, it's a tactic that they use that you would that they use so that you would buy more to show them that you belong and that you can afford it, one person claimed, while another said you fell right into the trap. Yeah. Some users 
identifying themselves as sales associates agreed as uh, agreed as one TikToker wrote sales associates do this to get more sales we are taught to do things like that see y'all think that y'all doing something smart by going back to the store like say that disrespected you and spending money in the store that one they're taking that one they're counting on one if you ain't got no money you're gonna leave anyway and that was right but if you do got some money you are so cuckoo for cocoa puffs in the head you'll actually come back and spend money at that store like you doing like you actually hurting them like really like i say people just got to do better you know just uh as a whole while speaking to the independent about the experience which took place at the deal store in Rome and Medea said that the initial unsatisfactory customer service didn't only happen at Dior as she claimed many of these luxury stores had sales associates that were giving us attitudes refusing to show us other colors designs not serving us drinks etc but it goes back to what the other lady said that they're trained to do stuff like that like I said it's either one you ain't got it and you ain't gonna buy nothing so get out of here but two You'll sit there at a dang lunch counter and let somebody throw shakes and water and food at you while you because you wanna because you wanna you wanna feel like you belong. Again, this was not a system, but again, but this is these are things that that people do and don't understand how wrong it is. However, she said that the pair had better experience at the door store in Florence. And that she ultimately believes the sales associates are responsible for representing their brands to a degree. Exactly. And like I said, you're talking out the side of your ass. As for why she and her mother returned to the store despite the negative uh, experience, Emma did say that she and her mother already had the intention to buy from these brands. So we just picked a friendly sales associate to get them from. And we were nice to him. And he was nice to us. The Independent has contacted DR for comment. Yeah, I mean, sounds good all in the end there that you know well that you said you're going to buy it anyway. So that's why you went back to that store. But like I said, I wouldn't have went back to that store. I mean, seriously, I went back to that store and I would have spoke to a manager and told him, hey, y'all lost out on so much money. Matter of fact, I would have went to a different different company. Like, I mean, I don't know. I can only think of like Gucci or Tom Ford or something. Any, somebody else, anybody else. Uh, just would have went anywhere else, uh, you know, to buy, you know, high dollar, high quality items, and then would have wrote, you know, wrote the the manager to the store and wrote the company like, hey, y'all got a piss post sale, y'all got a piss post sales associate here, and y'all lost all this money, y'all need to retrain y'all people, you need to train y'all people differently, what have you. So, because I'm gonna put this out on TikTok, and the whole world gonna see y'all practice. But anywho, tell me what y'all think about this story. Like I said, ain't no way in hell I would have, like I say, now, knowing what I know now, like I said, I told you that when I was younger, I bought something, but you know, but that's because I felt I had to do it because I waited to the last minute to buy a gift. But this story is about, you know, something older. This They did not have to buy this stuff then. They did not have to go to that store. They could have went to any company, any brand, and a high-end brand, and bought anything they want to but they felt but she felt that he just had to go right here and i think it was just what they call bass apples man but anyway tell me what you think man leave your comment down below and then share it to the world and with that being said i leave you in peace and i'll see you on the other side